Hello, HCG peeps, it's your girl MJ checking in for round three VLCD 44. And um, I just want to give you a heads up. I can barely see myself because I don't have my contact lenses in and my glasses is nowhere to be found. So I'm going to back away so I'm not all up in your grill. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, 43, I got on the scale yesterday and I was at 166. No, 146.4 and that was a gain of uh, 0.8 from the previous day and then today I weighed in at 144.4 that's right two pounds baby two pounds um, let me stop bragging about that because let me tell you what I did uh, yesterday I did an apple day because I realized, and I don't have notations, but my body has been in um, 146 back and forth, back and forth since January, no, February 1st, which means that must be a set point for my body because it keeps wanting to go back there. Like there was a point there where I lost like 1.8 and it took me down to, I think, 144.8 or something like that. And, um, and surely enough, within that two days after that, it climbed back to 146. So I did an apple day yesterday. Uh, let's see. I got in a total of five organic apples, uh, very little water, coffee with just Splenda, uh, about a cup and a half right before noon. And then from noon on end, I was sucking on ice cubes and I got in a total of five apples, which... I love apples, I really do. So um, I thought, eh, no sweat, apple day would be easy, but yeah, no, it wasn't. I was hungry, I was hungry. Um, I'm sorry, I don't wanna flash you, but this shirt is redonkulous. Uh, it's a large, like all my other shirts, and um, I'm wearing a, I'm totally feeling myself, I'm wearing um, a, a strapless bra because it's spaghetti straps well uh, it looks like I'm flashing everybody so I'm gonna be like adjusting myself all day but um yeah let me tell you let me tell you before I go in my little sermon just kidding um today's valentine's happy valentine's you people oh yeah the hair um naturally wavy so this is what I do all I do is put gel and uh, blow dry it this way and yeah naturally wavy hair i have to strain my hair anyway i'm being really really girly right now it's not even funny um non-scale victory two 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 my watch i don't know if you can see this watch i love but uh when i weighed uh 20 pounds more it was so tight and i don't know if you've noticed but i like to wear my watches like it's a bracelet i like it super loose so today look it's a little loose, so I am happy wearing it. Love. And um, another non-scale victory is my uh, strapless bra. I'm not going to tell you the size, but it's up there. Um, it's actually on the last hook, which I remember wearing this uh, like three weeks ago. And it was on the first set of hooks. And now it's in the very last hook. And to be perfectly honest, it's a little loose. So my boobies are disappearing, which fine by me, take them. <laughs> um, anyway, what I wanted to talk to you guys about today, and I'm not going to stay long because the family is waiting downstairs. We're, he we're heading to San Diego today. Um, for those of you who don't know, I live in between San Diego and uh, LA. I'm probably like 40, 45 minutes north of San Diego. So I have the best of both worlds. And it's I don't know if you can tell, this is my room and only two windows are open with uh, the curtains, but it is so gorgeous out there. It's like, the, I think the high today in San Diego is 73 and the high here where I live is 83. So I can't wait to spend the day in San Diego and I think we're going we're gonna to go ahead to Dave and Buster's for dinner and let the kids play and um, yeah, and I'm planning on being really really good no cheating for this girl no cheating i'm down to 16 days and i'm done with this round woo, woo. um anyway i just i'm not gonna be very serious today which you know i normally am it's so annoying about me um 
my topic is do not go to Home Depot for milk. I don't know where I read that line. I heard that line from somewhere and ever since then I've been using it, which means don't go somewhere where you know you're not going to get what you need. And let me tell you a little bit about that. So yesterday when I got on the scale, the day after my walk, which I'm generally okay with like, you know, gaining like 0 0.4, 0 0.6, um, from water retention. I'm okay with that. You know, I have been really saying about the number thus far, but, um, I was like, this is ridiculous. My body kept wanting to go back to 146. I mean, I think I saw again, 144 and then that was it. And it would just con continuously just climb back to 146. And I finally, I normally have, I have an app on my phone where I put in my, um, my weight for that day and I'll calculate like how much I've lost and how much more I have to go to in order to reach my goal. So I really love that app. However, it's not to me, I'm such a like visual person that I need to physically write it down, look up my book and then see, okay, every day, you know, I gained this, I lost this, I gained this, I lost this. Well, long story short, I finally jotted down in my notebook which I haven't jotted down my, um, my weight for the past like three days. And that's when I realized, oh crap, my body has been, um, trying to stabilize at 146. Like I literally saw 146 on February 1st. So that's like 13 days that I've been hanging around that number up, down, up, down, up, down. I mean, no one will ever accuse me of being patient. That's not who I am. And so when I saw that yesterday, knowing I've been practically popped, like I have cut out cappuccinos and lattes. I'm totally over that. And I that can wait until I'm in P3. I'm staying really pop. I'm not even using the Walden Farms dressing. I'm putting just lemon. Uh, I have cut back and out practically on um, chocolate delights. I'm really like not cheating, staying as pop as I can, uh, drinking lots of water. I mean, granted, I'm still exercising, but I exercised in the beginning of the round and that, you know, so it was just ridiculous. It was ridiculous. So what I ended up doing is um, I felt myself just getting really frustrated and going, this is bananas. Like I'm not cheating, I'm being such a good girl and I don't understand why the scale is is like that. I mean, I feel like I'm losing inches, I get all that. It's pounds and inches, I get all that. But for, for those of us, we like for the number to affirm what we know, you know? And so um, instead of getting frustrated and possibly cheating, I reached out. I reached out to a couple of our veterans um, in this community through Facebook. And I kid you not, within like a couple of minutes, they were on it. They were like, so have you tested your HCG? Uh, have you measured? Um, let's talk about this. I mean, and they were like texting with me and then actually got on the phone with one of them. And we were on the phone for a while and she was just saying, you know what? You're, you're so much more patient than I because I wouldn't wait that long. She said, you've got to really sort of push away from that number because your body's going to keep wanting to go there unless you tell your body, stop it. This is not our set point. Move on. And so, and she, both of them actually um, gave me the idea of doing um, an apple day and I've never done an apple day. I've done fat fast days, which I hate with a passion. I think in general, I don't like correction days, you know? And so um, I ran to the dollar store, got pregnancy test. I ran to Sprouts, got some organic apples, came back home, tested my HCG. It's good. It's preggers. Um, and then quickly down my, my coffee because I know I couldn't have any more afternoon. Um, and then, um, yeah, and then for the rest of the day, I just had uh, apples and very little amount of of water. And for the most part, whenever I felt myself really hungry, I would suck on an ice cube. So yeah, and I was rewarded with a two pound release on the scale today. Woo, woo. <laughs> so, um, you know, I'm going to again say what I said in the beginning, which is don't go to Home Depot for milk. 
We all know milk doesn't sell, I mean milk, Home Depot doesn't sell milk. Home Depot does not sell milk. In a nutshell, figuratively speaking, you know, you know I'm using <laughs> metaphor, um, that go to the people who you know will support you. Go to the people who have been there, have done it, and they're more than willing to help. And I kid you not, yesterday, I was like just overwhelmingly grateful for this community, for the people in it. You guys, we have such amazing people. Like you don't even understand. I cannot say that enough. Like ridiculous. Like just, oh my gosh, I'm so touch, so touch. So um, yeah, don't go to Home Depot for milk. They don't sell milk. Don't go to those people who will not support you, who will make you question what you're doing and who will not be happy for you. Don't go to them. Go to the people who will support you, who will love you, who will help you out. Use them as resources. So that's my piece for the day. I will talk to you guys later. I'm in such a good mood right now. You don't even understand. I am in such a good mood. Oh, granted, I'm flashing everybody. Maybe I should change my shirt, but you got to check out my outfit. I don't know if I could stand back, but you got to check out my outfit. Yep, a little body shot. I am wearing, look, sexy mama spaghetti straps. Ooh, ooh, I know I'm pale as can be, but it's going to have to be until summer. Spaghetti straps. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm being cuckoo. I love you people. You have a wonderful uh, Valentine's and I will talk to you later. Bye.